Hi Virgos, it's Meg. This is your weekly reading. I hope you guys are all doing well. Um, we're back with the individual weeklies, so let me know if you guys are excited and like this. Um, we're going to go into your health, career, work, finances, and love, romance, dating, or relationships. And before we do that though, I'm going to get a message for Mercury going retrograde for you guys before we get started. And um, Mercury is in Virgo, so you guys will probably need this and feel this the most. And I did already post before I posted these individuals, the weekly astral energies. If you guys want to check that out and watch it, it's only a few minutes. Um, and then you can come back to this. So, um, uh, what else? And I'll have the link to the extended reading below in the description, in the description box if you're interested afterwards. Okay. All right. So let's get started. This is for all my Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus. What is your message for Mercury going retrograde? And it's in your sign, but it will only be in Virgo until the 14th and then it'll go into back into Leo. So let's see for all my Virgos. What is their message for Mercury retrograde so it doesn't mess with them or cause too much issues? What is their message? What do they need to know? All right, nice. So you guys got card number 56. So 56 or the number 11 could be significant or mean something to you throughout this Mercury retrograde. So for August, pretty much. And it says rise and shine, rise and shine. Beautiful. So despite whatever could be going on or happening in your life, go through each and every day, rise and shine, go after your dreams and goals. Don't let anything stop you. Keep shining, keep showing your light, keep showing your, you know, who you are as a person and um, letting every, you know, letting, don't let things stop you or fears, doubts, insecurities. So continue to rise up every day and do what you need to do. Rise and shine. I like that. All right, so what's going on when it comes to your health for this week, Virgos? All right, so you guys got three of pentacles. So this week, when it comes to your health, Virgos, I feel like you're making improvements. Maybe you're healing or you're making progress, you're getting stronger, um, you're growing, and you could even be doing activities or doing something with other people, maybe with friends, family, or you're like doing group classes uh, or getting training or something, but you're making progress and you could be working, let's say if you're exercising, you could be working on like your upper body, your arms, your shoulders, you know, upper body work, push-ups, pull-ups or something. Um, you could also be... Uh, doing things with like maybe you're going out to eat with some friends or family um but i feel like you're making improvements and you're growing and making progress in a practical way by your actions the things that you're doing are helping your health um so i feel like for the most part things are going pretty well in that area of life okay now when it comes to your uh, work, school, career, and finances, you guys got the six of wands, okay? So um, in this area of life for work, finances, school, business, stuff like that, you're overcoming a challenge, you're overcoming a hurdle, maybe something that was really difficult or once was causing a lot of issues or problems, stresses, you now won, you beat it, you you, you figured it out or now you're like an expert or you conquered that and you're doing so well. Or let's say you were in a competition or you were competing for something or uh, you know, uh, competing with others. You win, you end up winning and you end up doing really, really well. So this week, something that was once maybe a challenge, you overcame it and you um, came out on top. So this is really, really good news. Maybe you win something or you get recognized for something or you're just like, haha, yes, like that thing didn't defeat me or um, I was able to, um, you know, just overcome that whatever that challenge or that issue maybe was. So you could be feeling really proud or excited about that. And maybe you're working with or doing business with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So that could be a boost of an ego for you this week. You're just like, ah, yes, I, you know, that problem or whatever didn't slow me down. I, I figured it out or I hacked the system. I hacked my way or I figured some other way out. Okay. All right. Now, when it comes to your love, romance, dating, or relationships on your side, so your energies, you guys got the emperor, nine of swords, and the empress. So some of you may have, um, 
uh, fire in your chart like Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You could also have Air, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or maybe Taurus, Pisces, Libra, somewhere in your chart. All right, now on this other side for this other person, so this could be someone you're dealing with right now or you will be dealing with their energies, we have the Knight of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, and the Nine of Cups. So whoever this person is, this person might be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or could also be an earth sign like yourself, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus. But doesn't have to be, could be any sign like I always say to you guys, could just be the energy this person is embodying, playing out, maybe be like a mixed match of one of those. Okay, so what's going on here? I feel like there's a lot of great energies on your side, Virgos, and you seem to have someone here who is paying attention to you, loves you, cares about you, is trying to be consistent or maybe learn and grow with you and um, connect with you. And I think you, for the most part, are very much so in charge and you're directing yourself, you're asserting yourself. And you seem to like, from an outsider perspective, like someone who doesn't know you, they would probably be like, oh, Virgo got it all together. They're doing good, they look good. And uh, like, you don't look like you have any issues or any problems, but internally, well, Mercury is going retrograde in your sign, okay? So I do feel like that is playing a role, a factor here. Cause I feel like mentally something is messing with you or you maybe the past you're getting don't let past thoughts uh sabotage your current situation or mess with your head too much because everything could be going fine and i feel like things for the most part are fine in your life but your own you may get in your own head and start thinking about the past or things that could go wrong and it starts to like mess with you or you let fears doubts and securities creep into your mind when really nothing is going on nothing is wrong but you're now like remembering things from the past is it's like bugging you now and you can't be present or you can't be in the moment and just enjoy what's going on so be mindful of your mind you know keep your mind in check your uh you know take care of your mentality this week try to keep yourself in a good happy calm place as much as possible and if you do catch yourself thinking about past things like try to catch yourself and be like okay you know what i'm worried i'm starting to think too much or worry uh, about things that i shouldn't be worried about and like everything's fine um because in you in your head you may think that there's a problem or that something is worse than it actually is and it may not even be that at this time if it actually was i would tell you but it you don't seem to have any major issues here um you may have health concerns that may come up again so that could be a worry and yeah that could be something physically you do have to take care of but i don't see anything that's like you know anything that's too extreme okay um i do feel like here like when it comes to this connection or relationship your things are going really good but they may this person may not know what you're going through they may not know what you're thinking or they may not be aware that you're stressed or things are coming up mentally so don't be afraid to be open about it and talk about it with this person if there is like things triggering you or you get you know a sudden rush of anxiety or something because they really care about you this person loves you okay they they treat you like family or you're like family to them and they feel really comfortable with you and they want you to feel comfortable and confide and trust in them and i think they're really trying to show you through their actions that they care about you or they're for you and have your back and I do see here, maybe there could be fertility here. So someone could be pregnant. If it's not you, maybe your partner or someone in your life or someone close to you. And maybe that's stressing you out, okay? I know there's a lot of pregnancy, you know, worries and stuff that could come up. Um, if not, maybe just be careful because there could be, you could be really fertile or your partner. Um, and I feel like though here, your um uh, you know yourself and you're confident and you know what you have to offer, but a lot of times you are you could just start doubting yourself or second guessing yourself when really there's nothing wrong. And I do also see here that you're growing as a person and so with that comes a lot of growing pains and uncertainty and it can feel weird when you don't have all the answers, but it's okay, you're not supposed to have all the answers. Um, but just know that this person sees you as like a beautiful person they're like obsessed with you and 
you're everything to them and there's like you can do no wrong and you you are perfectly imperfect and there's like nothing wrong with you okay so really really good reading i liked it just make sure you keep yourself in check and uh, don't submit to any fears doubts and security stuff like that and just know that you know there's things happen and things come up but you don't want to put too much energy into that make it bigger than it has to be Okay, so let's continue Song of Extended to get more information to see where their energy is at, what are they thinking, what are they feeling when it comes to you, what they don't want you to know that maybe you should know, and what their next action will be towards you, and also your advice at the end. And one last thing I want to mention, I forgot, nine is repeated twice for you guys, once on your side, once on their side. So um, spirituality, letting go, releasing, and expanding is very important for you, for both of you this week. You are having to let go of thoughts, ideas, baggage, fears, doubts. Like you have to really take care of your mind and let go of things that are blocking you. Whereas this person is supporting you emotionally and they're helping you to let go by supporting you in an emotional way with love, peace, you know, compliments or uh, words, a shoulder to cry on, stuff like that. Okay. All right, and maybe having this person around is, is gonna be really helpful for you to relax and not to not to take things so literal or um, to get too lost in reality. Maybe this person can be a source of comfort for you, okay? And just tell you it's okay, relax, everything's gonna be fine, don't worry, okay? All right, so let's continue on with the extended. Link will be below. I'll see you guys there, but I'll see you for your next reading, all right? Take care, bye.